All right, so we just import the data using the data import wizard. Now we are going to do the same with the data loader. Data loader was intended or is intended if you want to load more than how many? More than 5 million records, right? Oh no, up to 5 million records. So if you need to load more than 50,000 records to 5 million records, like you have 50,000 students or maybe it's for a city, right? Or a state, say the state of California have uh, how many million residents and the governor of California wants to update or add data to to the, you know, to the database and they want to update some data and it has like 12 million records, then they would need to use, well, 12 million records they can't because the maximum is 5 million records, right? That's a lot of records, by the way. So, for example, the governor wants to update 2 million records for this, for a particular city in California so they would need to use a data loader they can't use the data import wizard so data import wizard can only do up to 50,000 records more than 50,000 use the what data loader right Pay attention, okay, if I'm talking. Yeah, I know you are, you are paying attention. So data loader is 50,000 to 5 million records. So for this particular example, do you want to use like 50,000 students? You know, well, you can, but I don't feel like I'm wanting to copy 50,000 records. So basically, if I change the view here to smaller, so we can fit more, uh, more data there, right? I'm just gonna change this to 100%. Oopsie, sorry. Oh, that's better. 100%. So you have 100 students right now, right? But we did import the 100 students using the data import wizard. So now let's start from 101, right? 101. 102 and if I make this a little smaller and I'm gonna start dragging here three four five da, 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 all the way to a thousand maybe not fifty thousand okay let's do a thousand whoa yeah a thousand more students so all the way to student one thousand 100 so how is your math there 1000 plus the 100 we already did is 1100 right so we have that and the grades uh, I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna drag this or not drag this let's say everybody else is grade 7 okay because <laughs> I don't want to keep changing the grades for a for a very long time and you have to keep staring at my monitor here or on my video let's just drag that even more all the way to 1000 come on boom 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 one more a little bit more almost there oh yeah oh there we go everybody else is grade 7 okay and everybody else is gonna be born on the same day maybe or I don't know oh well, let's see let's just drag it here I think it's smart enough Excel so yeah it's 2012 you know you see that thing changing if you don't don't mind it it's not even important okay all right so everybody has a birth date the grade and the student is 1000 new students all right so actually for 1000 you can still using the data import wizard but for this demo we are going to use the data loader. So I'm going to save this guy. Um, so import demo 1000. There. Okay. Save this. So we have 1000. So what if 5 million? 
you, you can imagine how much data, 5 million records, just let a few seconds to let that sink into your mind or heart, 5 million records. 5 million of these, look at that. It's a lot, right? Okay. So now we are going to import this using the data loader. How can you get your hands on data loader? Let me show you. Uh, let me just close everything out here. So we on the same page, if you're just watching this particular video, launch your trailhead on here. Um, we go to setup as usual. Everything is on setup. If we want to manage or create stuff and set up and then you go um, data, not data, import data loader. There, data loader integrations. It's, it's not going to be on the website. It's going to be something you have to download. Okay. So if you have to download uh, for a Mac, if you are using Mac here, if you are going to use Windows, use it here. Download it. Okay? You need to get your hands dirty. Download it like that. And then you install it. Okay? You have to be able to install stuff, right? On, on this age, on this year, 2019, if you can't install it. Well, learn. Well, you have to learn on your own. This is a Salesforce tutorial, not a installation tutorial for Windows or Mac. Install this data loader, all right? Once you have installed it, you will have something like this. If I search data loader, this is the data loader. So if you want to import it, you need to log in first, right? So for example, I want to import or insert the new 1,000 students, this 1,000 students, okay? I want to insert that, but it's going to pop me up with a login. So how do you log in here? You don't know, right? Because you're using the playground, um, Trailhead Playground org. So you need, to, you need to know your password first, okay? How do you change your password? All right, let me guide you to that part. Okay, follow me along. So this is needed to use the data loader. We are going to have to change our password for the, for the trailhead playground, okay? To do that, on the same setup here, home, go to users, users here, right? So you have this, right? This is your username. You have to click the edit here, right? Edit. We have to change the password because we don't know the password. When, when Salesforce change it, oh, actually, don't hit edit. My bad. My bad. You check the box here, okay? And reset password, all right? Check the box and reset password. Oh, yeah, before we do that, we want to make sure the email is is right because when we hit reset password it is going to send an email link so make sure you you, you click edit first oh my email is good here student at zone.io okay so when you hit the reset button it will send a link to your email here so make sure your email is good so you can actually reset the password all right so now i'm gonna Check the box, reset password. Yes, okay. All right, it will send an email to this, uh, to my email address. I'm going to log in to my other monitor screen and show you how it look, how it looks like. Here, let me just, Sure, I'll bring it over here, see? So finish resetting your password developer edition. You have the link here, all right? Click on the link and set your password. Now you know your password, right? Your own password, right? 
change. Okay, it all is set. I don't have to save that. So, what is the point of all that? Let me just bring this over to the right. So the point of all that is now you can log in here. You need to log in here, right? It's a production because it's a trailhead play playground. So now I'm going to log in, right? But to log in, it requires my email address or my username. Follow me along. Hit the login button. So what is the username? Not your email address. I'm going to go back here. This is my username. All right. This is my username. Copy that. Make sure there is no white spaces anywhere. No white spaces. Not like that. Okay. Just the username. Copy my username. And I'm going to go back here. Put my username. What is the password? The password is the password we just reset. You better remember that or else. You have to redo the reset. I'm entering in my password, which I just reset and log in. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, verify again. Okay. So they're going to ask me to verify to my email. I'm going to go back to my email here. I'm going to show you. There, verify your identity in Salesforce. All right. They might do that. So 84436. Okay. I'm going to bring it over 84436 verify yes allow the access and we are in okay wake up wake up you're still with me right don't fall asleep on me sometimes some kid fall asleep when I'm teaching them okay wake up hey you want to see some what cheeseburger picture to freshen you up or maybe not okay next so you're logged into production okay next so what are we going to insert the student object okay so I'm gonna type the letter S on my keyboard see if the student is there oh it is there see so select the object you want to import the student object all right now I'm gonna choose the file which has the 1,000 students there. This one, all right. Open that up, okay. So I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna maybe share, I don't know. I, I can share you this file later on on the link. Uh, so you can also do this data loader practice yourself. So you're not just watching me and forget all about it. You have to do it, okay. Do it your, uh, yourself on your own. So next. Your operation will contain 1,000 records, okay? All right, sounds good. So, we have to map what data goes to what field in Salesforce. This is easy, right? So, I'm going to create or edit a map. You see, it's going to be like this, right? Okay, don't get overwhelmed. It's the same simple thing, just different looks, okay? So, I'm going to bring the birth date from here. You can use your mouse and drag, drag. You know how to drag, right? Drag like that. Grade and then drag like that. And then name and drag like that. All right. Okay. And hit next, right? And finish. This will import 1,000 new students into the system. You have chosen to insert new records. Click yes to begin. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Look at that. Beautiful, right? Nice. So you don't have to actually do this with your hands. Typing in 1,000. So this is good. But what if... You have some failures or errors. Don't freak out. Just keep looking at the errors if there is any and fix it. If you're confused, email me, okay? Through the zone.io website and I will help you out. All right. So there we have it. I'm going to hit OK and we are done. Let's see 
what we did. Go back here. Go to the student object. Bam. And not the recently viewed, but all of it. Give me all of it. Whoa. We got tons of new students here, right? Awesome. It worked. So the birth date here, student name, grade 7. We haven't linked the teacher yet, but we can do it on another day. So that's all um, pretty simple. Data loader up to 5 million records. More than 50,000 records. You use what we call a data loader. All right. You're getting good at Salesforce now. This is pretty advanced stuff, do you think? Okay. Let's move on to the next section in the next course.